Hey guys, Brian from JB Custom Woodworking here. Today we're going to take a look at the Compass Sliding Table ST1500 that comes with the Harvey H HW110S table saw. So this is the first sliding table that I've ever owned, so I'm still getting used to this. But basically what this does is it allows you to cross cut large sheet goods uh, with amazing repeatability without having to rely on a um, cross cut sled. So this thing has quite the range. Uh, if we look at it here, this piece here actually extends out further to provide more weight capacity. And this goes out to an amazing 61 inches. So it's quite easy to put a full size sheet of plywood on there. Now I'm a little bit cramped for space here in the shop, but um, uh, 61 inches from the blade is quite amazing. When you pull the track back, you can actually put 49 inches between the uh, miter gauge and the tip of the blade so you could cross cut a full sheet of plywood and you can see just how smoothly it operates all the way past the blade so if we look at a few of the features on the saw on this uh, sliding table this um, these stop blocks here they are infinitely adjustable across the blade sorry across the guide and you, the idea is that you push the stops down and this sets your, your distance between the blade to uh, set the, uh, the length of your cutoff piece. Now, if you're not 100% um, accurate with this, they do have micro adjusting knobs and these will adjust in uh, thousands, so, sorry, thousands of an inch. Now, this particular one just happens to be metric and I'm just gonna pick up the camera here so you can see that a little better. But you can see on here that we've got metric gradations. And even on here, we've got, let's see if I can get this into focus. This is uh, two millimeters um, per turn on the, uh, on the micro adjusting thing. Now, this one wasn't supposed to come with the metric gauge. It was supposed to come with Imperial, but that was messed up. So what they're doing is they're sending me replacement uh, rulers. So these rulers just slide out and then you can just slide in the Imperial one and uh, that converts it back into being uh, an imperial table instead of a metric table. Now, when this thing came out of the package, if you looked at the package properly, this piece was actually reversed onto this side, and that was so that it would fit in the packaging better. But once I looked at the table for a little while, it became obvious that uh, this is an additional support for the, uh, the edge of the piece that you're cutting. So flip this around, there's two screws on the bottom, and that holds this firmly in place. And then if you don't need that much size, you can shove this back in and it goes down to a more compact, uh, a more compact size. Now it was fairly easy to set this thing up by myself. It does weigh about 80 pounds, but it basically comes in three pieces. And because this uh, sliding table is made by Harvey and this is a Harvey table saw, the holes all lined up nicely. It does have instructions in the owner's manual on how to put this on other saws. Uh, primarily the saw stop, for example, but it will fit on uh, any of the other tables like the General, uh, the Jet, the um, Powermatic, uh, King Industrial, Grizzly, or pretty much whatever you have, but you may end up drilling your own holes into the side of the table. And speaking of the table, the one thing you have to do is you have to remove the, uh, the extension table that comes with the saw. And in my case, because I was building the thing right from scratch, all I did was just not install the sliding table. But the uh, the smaller outfeed table that's on the left of the saw, which would normally be here, has to come off so that this thing can go on. Now, one of the things that I don't really like about this thing is when you want to do adjust the, the left and right um, sizing so that it gets close to the blade, you have to use an Allen wrench. Now this does come with it, but there's three screws one here, one here, and one here. And it's just a little bit annoying that you have to actually loosen those with a tool. It would have been much nicer if they had uh, put thumb screws on them or something like that. But the reason that you have to be able to adjust that is on a straight cut, if that puts you close enough to the blade, but then if you go to a 45 degree cut, uh, you're too far away from the blade. So what you might want to do is back this off a little bit so that uh, you get a little bit closer to the blade. And then of course you have to take your Allen wrench and you have to tighten the three screws. So maybe that'll get annoying over time. Maybe I'll just get used to it. But uh, 
Overall, I'm extremely impressed with the, um, the movements of this table, just how easily it moves. And even when you put a 50 pound slab of maple on here, it still slides back and forth very nicely. So I think this is gonna be a really handy thing for me in the kind of woodworking that I do. Now, to, um, to adjust the angle of the uh, device, you simply push down on this lock button, loosen off the giant red handle, and then slide it. I'll just move the camera so you see this better. You can turn this thing and it'll lock in at, at detents. And it's got detents at uh, 60 degrees, 45, 22 and a half, and zero. And it'll go 60 degrees left or right. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of range of motion in this thing uh, for anything that you might want to be cutting. Now, one of the things that's going to take me a little while to get used to is when you have this table pulled back all the way and the normal position that you would stand to operate the saw is here, you have to be careful because when you back up, you're gonna run into uh, the arm. So it may turn out that if I'm gonna be working on projects for a fair amount of time that don't require the, uh, the sliding table, I may just undo the two, uh, the two other screws, one is here and one is here, and then this whole assembly just slides off and then that allows it to function just as if it was a regular outfeed table. So um, that's something I'm gonna have to work on. We'll see how that goes in the future. So I guess my overall impressions of the sliding table are very good. Um, the, the motion and the range is extremely good. The accuracy is very good. The ease of installation was very good. And the fit and finish with the, uh, the aluminum and the flip stops and the micro adjustment knobs, uh, it seems to be uh, well worth the money that I paid for it. But it depends on the kind of woodworking that you do. If you work with a lot of sheet goods, this could be an essential part of your daily life. If you're more like me and you're more into uh, solid wood, um, it's uh, not gonna be as useful, but uh, it certainly will come in handy for a lot of things. So that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. It helps keep us going. If you have any comments, just put them in the, in the comments below and I will get back to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.